Okay, it's October the 25th, Tuesday, in the holidays, but uh, I thought I'd do a little bit of physics. I've got um, I've got two little little bits of filter here. Uh, what well, just looks like a bit of dark film, doesn't it? So it's a little it's a little square. You can see it close, can't you? There's my little square. I've got another one. It's exactly the same. And now what I can do is I can put the uh, the two together. You think, okay, well, what's the big deal? So nothing exciting there. I can move it round, okay. But what happens if I rotate the two filters? So let's rotate 90 degrees. Wow, it goes black. You're thinking, well, why does that happen? Well, what about if I rotate again 90 degrees? Oh, starts to come back until it's gone totally see-through pretty much. And then I can do it 90 degrees. Watch what happens very slowly. Disappears, 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 gone. The reason for that is dead simple, actually. All I've got is black lines painted on here. They're very, very thin and very close together, and they're blocking out the light. It's called a polarizing filter, okay? I can also try something with my monitor, my desktop monitor. Let's see what happens with that. Okay, so this is a standard computer monitor, but this time, I'm just gonna hold up one film. There you go, you can see it. Looks clear, absolutely fine. Oh, I only need one filter to do that. Now what does that tell you about the light that's coming out of my monitor? Well that tells you that it's already been polarised in a certain direction. It could be this way or this way, but it's uh, it's in a certain direction. Because look, the two of them, so they're both in line now, they both do the same thing. And I can rotate. So the screen, a TFT screen, with each pixel, the light that actually has already passed through a polarizer. So there you go. That's light polarization for A-level physics. Thanks for watching.